Hello my friends, Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q in my kitchen. Today I'm going to be doing some things with some avocados. I've got a number of right ones that I'm going to prepare in a number of different ways. They're all going to be guacamole type dips and things like that, but different ingredients in it. So I can show you the versatility of making guacamole any way you choose with any ingredients in it that you want. Let's do this guacamole in multiple ways. I took the liberty of doing some prep work, so I've already taken the seeds out of multiple avocados. I've got some onions that are chopped up, got some tomatoes that are chopped up, cilantro, some scallions, or shallots, excuse me, shallots that are chopped up, salt, pepper, cumin, lemon juice, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and even some jalapeno flavored salt. Let's start with getting these avocados out of here. I start by just making some simple cuts, and then taking a spoon and just coring it out. And these avocados are off the trees that I have here, which is why I have multiple ones. I'm going to start with a basic avocado guacamole. And this is just going to have salt, pepper, lemon, and the jalapeno salt. That's the way Hubby likes it. He likes it plain and simple. Let me put some lemon juice in there. As always, once you pull the avocados off the trees, they tend to all ripen at the same time, which is why I have to get a lot of these done right now. This is about four small avocados. They're pretty small as you can see. And I didn't do all of them yet because as I mentioned, we're gonna do multiple things. So I'm gonna first start by putting in, I'm gonna call that a teaspoon and a half of lemon juice. A little salt, that's probably equivalent to about a quarter teaspoon. Pepper. A few shakes, and I mentioned I'm not measuring, I'm just sort of putting stuff in here. And this is my jalapeno salt. I didn't have any jalapenos in my cabinet, so I figured that jalapeno salt would substitute pretty well for it. Okay, then we just take it and mix it up. That's a basic guacamole, nothing special. Just avocados that are swished up. If you need it, just like you would any guacamole from a restaurant or grocery store. And I like to leave it chunky. That way you get nice bites of the avocado. Taste for salt. We're good to go. I'm just gonna take that and put it in one of my plastic containers here. And that's our first basic avocado guacamole. Then we're gonna go back here with our avocados.
As always, we're going to add the lemon juice, about a teaspoon. To this one, I'm going to be adding some, let's go with the onions first. And I've got, I'm going to call that the equivalent of about a quarter cup of onions. Then I'm going to add to that some salt, pepper, a few splashes. I'm going to go with my jalapeno salt also. Add that in there. And let's see, what else am I going to do with this one? Let's add some crushed red pepper. Just give it a little bit of heat. And that's probably about a quarter teaspoon. And of course, as it sets, all the other seasonings and spices and onions and things that I've added will flavor and go through it. This taste for salt. We're good to go on that one also. I'm going to add this to our containers and set this aside with our others. Let's go for now our third rendition. Gonna add some lemon juice. Gonna go with the salt. Jalapeno salt. Pepper. Crushed red pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of cumin to this one also. And that's probably about a quarter teaspoon. And we're going to go with the tomatoes. And that's one medium-sized tomato. And I'm also going to add some, I think I'll add a little bit of cilantro to this one. Let's chop this a little bit better. Maybe a little bit more. And there's no specific measurements. I just eyeball it. Whatever it looks like it should be right to me. And just mix that all up. And we've got another guacamole, this time with the tomatoes. And you know, I think I'm going to add some onions to this one also. And that's maybe a couple of tablespoons of, of diced tomatoes. Taste it for salt. We're good on that one also. This is going to be our fourth guacamole. And I, I peeled a few more avocados to make this one. 
In each of these, I'm using about one, two, three to four avocados, depending on the, the size. I mentioned some of them are smaller than others. Please don't ask me why I'm using a plastic spoon. I just happened to grab it. And it was serving its purpose until just now. I'll take my lemon juice. I'll pass it in there. This time I'm going to use the, sh the uh, shallots. And that's equivalent to about a quarter cup. Of course, we're going to put salt in there, the jalapeno, salt, red pepper flakes, maybe not as many as the other one, pepper, and then we're going to put some cilantro on this one too, then I'm going to put a little bit more, I'll just use up what I have in here. all that up. And as I mentioned, this is our fourth guacamole rendition. You can add almost anything to guacamole. What also goes well is like a more sweet, say mango and avocado. Okay, we went through all of the ingredients I had prepped. I have to put a little bit more lemon on this one just because it's a few more avocados. And actually one more. There you have it. Guacamole, four different ways. Let's put this in the container. And I didn't give it a taste, did I? It's good. Very good. Today we made four variations of guacamole. All very similar, but yet just a little different. Some had a few more additives added, like some with onions, some with shallots, some with ripped pepper flakes, some with cumin, some with cilantro, and all sorts of different type of tastes in there, yet all very good. Guacamole can be made any way you choose with any ingredients you want in it, and it's going to be good. Thank you for joining me. This is Sylvie Curry, Lady of Q, and we've got guacamole. <laughs>